and, and that thing about positivity, I don't like fake positivity. You know, no, hundred oh, percent. That's almost like avoiding the whole thing. You can't avoid the negativity. You've got to almost like acknowledge it and then make the changes you need. And that's what, when you said about you're following someone on LinkedIn, you know, that's what I mean. It's like, like your social media right now, who do you follow? I've done this before, I think, on the podcast. Who do you follow? So you need to find out who you follow, why you follow. Unfollow the people that are bringing you down that, that do, not, do not add anything to your life and follow people that add value, that bring something. So I've got, I know we've talked about um, on the podcast, Simon Squibb, Mark Drager, Evan Carmichael. I can just scroll through my social media. My feed will be about people trying to make a difference instead of all that all that stuff about, oh, you should be doing <laughs> you this, swear, you should be doing yeah. that. You were going to swear. I was going to swear. I could feel it. No, no, no. So it's about, you know, when, you, when you're not feeling great, you know, when, when your environment, when you put on your phone and what's on your phone. So actually, I just changed my phone to a picture of my... Um, my beloved right it was it was a picture of me and my beloved then now it's just a picture of my beloved on my phone and it's a great picture every time i look at it i smile at it like so it's creating that environment to say god i'm so glad i'm with uh with my with my beloved right and and it's like we've been together for 25 years and i can still feel like that it's it's those moments and those things like even now looking at, i've got the books i've got i've got things i've even got my look even here, husband Valentine's Day, I've got the card. I'm, this, is, this, is my, this is where I work. So I'm, I've got personal development. I've got pictures. I've got, you know, this It helps me become grateful. And do you know what it's all come down to? It's, it's come down to that self-awareness and actually create an environment that, that, that harnesses that gratitude. And that's what you've got to build. Because if you're not feeling gratitude right now, it's probably because you've not built the environment for it. James Kieran is book atomic habits always says it's about what you have in your environment so if you want to eat better you've got to start eliminating things that you don't eat right and yeah. start putting stuff in that you are going to eat now i know some people like evan carmichael will say well look what i like to do is that he so when carmichael did it before he did it that way this might work for you right for him to like not eat doritos and i don't want to like go on too long but he basically put a bag of doritos in front of him every day and he would say i'm stronger than doritos so he'd have that as a reminder to remind him not to eat them by having them so that might work for you right same with gratitude. You could have something that it may not, it may be something that gives you the opposite of it. I don't know. It depends on what sort of person you are. But for me, I always have, I want to have things that it's an easy go to. It's easy to do. It's, it's, it's actionable. Like I've got my, my, um, my journal downstairs. Like I sit downstairs in the morning and I'll go, oh, I'm going to write in the journal. It's there. The pen is there. The book is there. And so I can do all these things. And like I'm very conscious, like you said, about recording all the bits and pieces and having them there. So if I need them, they're there. But actually, as I'm thinking now, I have almost like unconsciously build because I've been constantly thinking, but now it's unconscious, that almost that like unconscious competence now. Like we talked about that learning data, that yeah. I'm doing this without almost like thinking about it, but creating that environment all the time. So like do these things now, like making the bed and all that. That's all, all almost automatic, but I sometimes say, oh, I'm really grateful for that. And it will just be that moment. I just really do think actually from this whole conversation, the big thing I've taken away is it is your environment that dictates whether you will train yourself. And the first steps are always the most hardest steps. I know when I suffer my mental health, the first steps are actually to make a step and actually acknowledge that I'm not in a great place yeah. is, is the first step to starting to create change. And then just doing it very small, not thinking I've got to go and do this and do that because you get overwhelmed and then you don't do it and then it's too big. It's about small, tiny, 1% actions every single day that are repeatable, that are easy to repeat. For you, right? So for, 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 for Lee, it might be, like you say, thinking about whatever, but a trigger. For me, it's like, you know, waking up, maybe having my, you know, having the cards in, as, as you use them as bookmarks. It reminds me, right? Um, whatever is easiest for you is what you've got to tap into. So anyway, Lee, that, that is really, environment, I think, really would, in, now, in harnessing a, in, an environment of gratitude and actually designing right towards it will really help you push through those difficult times if you find it hard to develop that sort of habit. <laughs>